Assistant Attorney General Clark, on October 12th, the DOJ and CFPB issued a joint statement on fair lending and credit opportunities for non-citizen borrowers under the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. I sent you a letter on this joint statement on November 6th, but have yet to receive a response. As you know, the Civil Rights Division enforces the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and you are quoted in the press release issued for this guidance, which warns banks not to use immigration status, including whether an individual is, is lawfully present in the country, to determine the ability to take out a loan. Yet the joint statement admits the Equal Credit Opportunity Act does not expressly prohibit consideration of immigration status. This appears to be an attempt to dissuade our financial institutions from considering all legally permitted factors to ascertain a creditor's rights regarding payment, which could cause very severe damage to our financial institutions. It seems to me that your division and the CFPB are attempting to go beyond the intent of Congress and are using implied threats to further this administration's failed immigration policies, which are only making the situation at the southern border even worse. Ms. Clark, what authority do you have to instruct financial institutions on this matter, especially considering your statement explicitly admits that ECOA does not prohibit the consideration of immigration status? Thank you, Congresswoman. As noted in the letter that we issued with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the law contemplates that a person's immigration status, often in conjunction with other factors, uh, could be uh, relevant to determining determining repayment prospects, but more. Well, if, if considering immigration status is permitted by the law, what was the purpose of issuing this joint statement? To clarify, simply what the law that Congress gave us requires. It's an area oh, where people have sought clarity. Okay, uh, uh, is it this administration's position that financial institutions are required to loan money to illegal aliens? No. Okay. When can I expect a response to my letter? Um, I will consult with our Office of Legislative Affairs to ensure um, that you receive a response, Congresswoman. Including to all of the questions that I've asked? Uh, yes, we'll work with our Office of Legislative Affairs to respond. Have you been contacted by any financial institutions about this statement? Uh, no, no, Congresswoman. Um, Have you taken any steps to ensure that these financial institutions are aware of what the law actually says? Uh, yes, this is a, a document intended to provide clarity. Um, there are institutions who have sought clarity and want to ensure that they are following the law and not running afoul um, of the law. In this have you area. taken any actions against any financial institutions for turning down illegal aliens for loans? No. All right. What additional action pertaining to this joint statement have you and the Civil Rights Division taken? Um, well, our partners at CFPB, for example, recently took action against, in what way? against an institution that engaged for in what purpose? Discrimina discrimination based on national origin and violation um, of the law. Is that a pending case right now? Uh, it, it is a recent settlement, a recent resolution secured by CFPB. At the Civil Rights Division, we're committed to ensuring that banks and lenders are not engaged in redlining or engaged in any conduct. That but might you're also not trying to force them to, uh, to loan to illegal aliens when they can take that, into, that factor into consideration to, to determine who may be entitled to a loan. Is that correct? We want a healthy economy with banks that comply with the letter. But you're of the not law. going to violate the law to do that, are you? No. Okay, thank you. With that, I yield my remaining time to the chair. 